Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Makeup Monday. Today we are using finally the Morphe Boss Mood Palette which is this pretty girl right here. You guys have been requesting me so much to do this look and I finally got it. It shipped to me and I got it just the other day and I've been playing with the colors a little bit you guys have been requesting for me to do an olive green look and I seriously was waiting for this palette to get to me so I can do an olive green look so I don't want to ramble on too much like I usually do let's just jump right into this makeup tutorial okay so I'm going to start by applying my concealer just kidding my concealer you guys know that this is what I use for my base, yada yada yada. Now that the base is down, we are moving on to our palettes. And let's see, I'm obviously going for a green, an olive green smoky kind of eye. So let's, let's figure out what shade we can use first. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this shade right here, which is this really pretty light camel brown. And I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush. We're going to apply that to the highest point of the crease. Again, I've said this a million times, but if you guys have slightly hooded eyes, you do want to bring your first color of your crease up a little bit higher. I'm actually going to mix it with this orange right here because um, that brown is a little too tan. So how was your guys' Halloween? I was, okay, so this was the first, actually this was the second year that we've spent in our new home and we did not get any trick-or-treaters. I think we got maybe like one or two. The thing is that in the little neighborhood where we live, there's nothing but old people like it's it's there's a lot of like retired people because these houses are pretty old so i don't know maybe just kids don't come around here i don't know but we had to go somewhere else and go trick-or-treating because like nobody was handing out candy in our little area right here so i still was able to take my my little girl and my little niece and my friend, my friend, my friend came along with me, and it was fun. It was pretty cold that day, but um, my little girl dressed up as Addison from Zombies, the Disney Zombies. She is obsessed with them. And then my little niece ended up dressing up as Evie from The Descendants. She looked so cute, you guys. So I changed my mind. <laughs> I wasn't really liking how the orange was looking, so I ended up going in with this little Makeup Forever palette. I'm not sure of the name, but I just used this yellow. Honestly, any yellow that you have will work just as fine. So with that said, now what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and take this shade right here. I don't know. I'm really just throwing colors out there and hoping for the best. And ooh, this is a really pretty like mossy green. And I'm going to throw that into the crease just so I can start adding the greens. And then after that, then we can go in with a deeper green to intensify the look. For some reason, this green is not blending out too well. Do you guys see that? There's a little spot right there where it's just not wanting to blend. So what I'm gonna do now is I am taking this one right here, this deeper olive green, and I'm going to try and blend those colors together. I'm kind of layering this on the top of that green. Now, in order to bring a little bit more depth into the eye, I am taking a dive into the darkest olive green from the entire, how was I going to say, planet palette, which is this one right here. You can also use the Jaclyn Hill palette if you guys don't have this one. You can also use the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette if you guys don't have this one, that one has some olive greens in there as well. Oi, Cleo, look. Say hello. Say hello to everybody. Cleo, look. Oi, que guapa. 
Now what I'm gonna do is go back into my concealer and just do my regular schmegular <laughs> cut crease. For my lid, I wasn't sure which one I wanted to go with, but I do want to keep everything very like olive green. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this shade, which is the darker olive green, and then I'm going to mix this one on the top. Just so it's not so dark because I'm not wanting to go for a super dark smoky eye, but I still want those olive green tones. And then I'm going to go back and you guys know that I always do the same colors right here just to bring everything together. And then we can move on to the face. Let's move on to the face. My skin has been primed but I am going to go in with a mattifying primer because I feel like my skin is like back to normal. It's back to being oily which I missed her. I told you guys that my skin had been like super dry lately. Um, by the way, I am taking this Fenty matte primer it's a little it's a little sample that i got and i have not bought in full size because i don't know that i need it i have so many primers for my skin i've already done my little concoction i mixed a little bit of my huda beauty full filter foundation in the shade macchiato with a little bit of my elf booster drops these are really good for adding hydration to your skin i have it on my little elf palette this is like a little mixing palettes and i just mix the foundation with that uh the drops and then i just go into the skin directly and apply it that way i usually don't blend out this foundation with my beauty blender but i tried it the other day and i was like okay i like how it looks too i prefer this foundation with a brush i just feel like it goes on a lot smoother but it does look really pretty with just uh, a beauty blender. Ooh, I am dying to know if you guys are interested in buying the new Huda Beauty palette. I think it's called the Nude or something like that. It's a nude palette. I don't know. But I ordered mine because um, I feel like this palette is actually something that I would use her other palettes are really pretty don't get me wrong but i am excited about this one so i will for sure be doing a review on her palette as soon as i get it i will be filming i'm going to bronze my skin using the bahama mama bronzer <sighs> okay so i don't know how i am feeling about the greens in this palette yesterday i used the red side of the eyeshadow palette and it was really pretty blended really nice colors are nice and pigmented right and with this green with all of these green colors i am having to go back because once i blend out like the colors start getting a little bit patchy in some areas i don't know if i'm just like being too extra i want you guys to let me know if you have this palette if you like the greens in it because i am just having a hard time loving this eye look i am not loving it whatsoever i've been mixing concealers lately i don't know what my deal is but these are the ones that i have on for today this is the becca one and this is the la girl i'm telling you guys the la girl ones are such good concealers and the becca the becca one i just use it because i really like how creamy it is and how 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 oh my god can i speak how hydrating it is to set everything i'm just going to take my cover effects i'm not baking too much these days because even though my skin is kind of back to normal as far as like going back to its oily stage it's still a little bit dehydrated i recently picked up the clinique uh, moisture search or moisture something i don't know what it's called i posted it on my snapchat um, but I just bought that one the other day because again, my skin has just been lacking hydration. I'm going to jump back to my eyes. I'm going to take this little Morphe brow concealer, but it's so creamy that I love to use it on the waterline because it just really opens up my eyes. For my lashes, I'm going to use mine. I have been using these a lot, a lot lately. And you guys seem to love them every single time. These are Drama Queen. This is my collab with Lash Kitty, if you guys didn't know. 
now you do. <laughs> so yeah, these are the ones that we shall be popping on. These are super, super, super dramatic. As you can see, they have a lot, a lot of flair. So beware. Actually, I am going to apply a little bit of eyeliner. So I'm just going to go in with this one by NYX. I'm not going to draw a wing. I'm just going to draw the line so you don't see the lash band because it's a little bit dirty. Now for highlighter, I'm taking again the Glow Up by Ofra. I just have not been able to put this down. I love that it has so many different um, highlighters in here, but I really don't use like any of the ones. But I, not, not that I use them, but it's nice to have them. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I might have gone a little. That's what I get. That's exactly what I get. For my lipstick, I am going to take my current obsession. I, I've been wearing this lip combo every day. And when I wear it, you guys love it so much. The Makeup Forever Lip Pencil in Limitless Brown. And then I'm going to take the Can Can's Beauty Liquid Lipstick. I don't remember the name of this because it doesn't have it on the lipstick. But I will have it linked down below because, oh my Jesus, this lipstick is a beauty, you guys. And we are done with this look. I am not crazy over the eye look. I feel like the blending can definitely be a little bit better, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not entirely mad. Um, I want to know what you guys think about the Morphe Boss Mood Palette. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Will you be purchasing it or will you be skipping on it? I think it's good. I think it's a really good palette. The green colors definitely were a little bit harder to work with. But the other colors seem to be very nice and blendable. Like I said, I've worked with the red shades and they worked really well. So if you guys want to see a different look with maybe the purples or... I don't know. Just let me know. That is it for me, you guys. I'm actually going to head out. I'm going to take my mom out to eat and I'm going to stuff my face with Chinese food. Oh, I can already smell it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.